Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here, and in one of my recent posts on YouTube, I asked you guys to send in some clips and links to your videos that you would like me to review and give you tips and advice on the tricks you're doing in that video. And in the comments, it looks like you had specific requests for what you would like me to review on your videos. Now this will be beneficial for everyone because it gives everyone watching a chance to see someone who's learning the trick and then feedback from me to help tell them what they can do better or improve on or maybe train and I think everyone will be able to benefit from that so I'm also going to include the links to all these videos in the description so if you want to watch them again um, or check out their channel to support them then that would be awesome too so starting out here looking at the post and the comments I asked you guys to send in your links and your videos looks like the first link we got here is from Jeers Freerunning if that's how you pronounce it um, he says he wants help on his barony or barani. I actually don't know how to pronounce that trick. It's basically a front half or front flip 180. So let's uh, let's watch it and see if we can give him some advice on his videos. Turn down the volume just a bit so I can uh, get to it. Um, we'll skip this part. Not that I have anything against you, your talking or anything. We just uh, we want to jump into the tricks and see where you're at. So. Looks like you got a nice setup with uh, a cool little punch pad doing your front flips. So nice. You can do front flips on just hard ground. That's that's a good place to start off with. Get good pop, good height on your front flips. Um, the one thing I'm noticing so far with just your front flips, I'm going to... Ooh, nice. Ooh, over rotation. Okay, I'm going to jump back here to your front flip just so I can give you a tip on your front flip that will actually help you on your barani. So, let's uh let's let's slow it down here and go frame by frame. The biggest thing I'm noticing is your arms. Whoops, that's not how you do it. Here we go. Okay, we're going to go frame by frame here. Um as you're approaching, your block is pretty good. You got a really good um punch into it. You get a lot of height, which is awesome. But right here, look at look at your arms. So by the time you're punching, your arms are down by your waist. You want your arms up above your head at this stage um, right here see where your arms are and then as you're so you're lifting your arms up as you're starting the front flip which is actually going to go against the rotation of your front flip and then you bring them down after you've already left the ground and you still get a pretty good set with your chest and you have a really good punch so you're able to get a front flip around just fine but if you want to get more power and rotation into your front flip, you want to have your hands up by your head, probably right here, where you're starting to block but haven't quite hit the ground yet. Um, see how your hand, arms are all the way behind you? You want them above your head, and then, and then from there, as you set, you throw your arms upwards with your chest, and then by the time you start the rotation of your front flip you're at this point where your arms start coming down and into the flip so but look at that you still get really good height that's awesome but I think if you set your arms better you'll get a bit more rotation and momentum from them and it'll uh, it'll it'll also help you for the barani because the barani is basically just throwing a really fast rotated front flip like you're gonna over rotate it and then doing a 180 out of it so um, <laughs> sorry that, I, I know there's a lot of advice on just the front flip but the front flip is the foundation so let's let's go on to your Baranis now first one nice got a little 90 spin in there you can tell you're throwing that front flip good and solid that's you want to be throwing it really hard to get that extra half spin in there nice landed the 90 so you're starting to feel it awesome yeah you got a lot of power. It's looking good. Once again, in this, I can see you're just you're losing a little bit of the rotation you could be getting from your arms, just your arm placement. Nice, got it around. I'm gonna just jump ahead to uh, see see what the best one you landed is, and then maybe go from there. I think it was your <laughs> your shirt color changed, and so it confused me. I thought there were two different people, and now I realize it was the same person. Yeah, there it is. Nice. You've got it. Okay, so let's just go over this real quick. Even though you landed it, there's always ways we can make it look better. But good job landing it. It looks it looks good. It looks good so far for a first one. 
Um, okay, let's slow this down a bit. Starting out, you're going into it. You've got some good momentum. Once again, your arms are hanging back when they should be behind your head and up so you really can get more power into it. The only reason they should ever be going back is if you're doing a Russian setup, but you'd still want your arms in front of you swinging backwards instead of starting backwards and swinging forward. Um, on your punch, your knees are a little bit more bent than I would like to see on a block. I feel like you can get a little bit more power if you keep your legs a little bit more rigid and sturdy and so you're you still bend at the hips a little bit because you're blocking the momentum in front of you um, right here but because your feet come back behind you again you're losing some of that block power instead of your feet being forward in front of you more straight and so now as we set up you get good height which is awesome you throw a nice tuck into the front flip and then here I could tell in your earlier ones and here a little bit that you're really fighting that spin. You're really trying to get that rotation around. Um, it looks like you're just struggling to get the hip rotation you need on that motion. So when you, when you think about the Barani, what happens is you can throw a front flip like a normal front flip and then pop a 180 out of nowhere and that's kind of the and the, how you do that is as you're opening from the tuck is when you start doing the spin and you really want more torque in your hips here right here you're kind of your whole body is kind of turning with it you want to lead with your legs and your hips on the rotation and then your chest will follow with this move and so um, as far as the rotation goes I would just say put more of a focus on as you open up from the tuck to just uh, really focus on twisting your legs and hips first because your chest will naturally follow and it needs to be a snappy motion into that motion with your hips and it, it should all come together so um, th those are the main tips I'd get you you've obviously you've obviously landed it so now it's just a matter of cleaning it up improving some of the things we talked about but otherwise it's looking really good and you've done an awesome job learning that trick so keep it up let's move on to our next video alright so Shipa King wants some help on side flips uh, they don't really have fear but it feels awkward um, staying like a barrel roll and PK roll in midair cool alright so let's watch your video see how we can help you Okay, we're working it on a trampoline, which is good. I always recommend, if you can, to learn side flips on a trampoline. Um, so right, right off the back, <laughs> I can uh, can give you some tips on what's happening. Oh, sorry, I missed that last one. Okay, so this is a the way you're doing the side flip right now is a very standard beginner way to just get comfortable with the side flip motion, and there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of starting to learn the side flip is overcoming the fear of rotating your body that way and sometimes doing you know uh, variations of the flip can make it easier to overcome that fear but we don't want to get stuck doing it that way so let's let's go over how you can now that you've gotten over that fear of actually doing the side flip how you can actually start improving it so so starting out we, right off the back, you're bending your knees a ton. You don't need to really bend your knees at all when you're doing a side flip on the trampoline. Think of it like you're just jumping from your toes with your legs straight and just let the trampoline give you all the, the power you need. Um, your arms are set up pretty good. I like how you have your right hand behind your head. Um, that'll give you good momentum to go into the flip. But immediately right here, before you're even jumping, you're already leaning forward and kind of falling in the direction you're going to be jumping which means you're going to be losing a lot of height right off the back and then from here you go into the sideways motion but then with not a lot of height and not a lot of power in the rotation you end up on your back the main thing I would say you can do here on your side flip is to make sure that everything is taller as you're setting into the side flip so on the set make sure you let your chest as you're jumping up as your momentum is carrying you up not forward that your chest is still up here so at this point where you've already started the flip you want your chest to still be here 
and then start the rotation so that your rotation will be up here and at this point you want to really drive your knees in hard and fast because that's what's going to carry all that initial mo rotational momentum into the flip and uh, and when you tuck it it'll just speed it up and multiply that rotation and whereas here you're just opening up to go to your back maybe just because it feels more comfortable that way um, but yeah I mean you have a good start there just try and get taller with your chest and arms and everything keep everything more straight at the beginning so that when you jump up and your feet leave the ground you're as tall as possible um, and then when you go into that tuck it's taking all that momentum from being extremely tall to really small and then rotating it really fast so hope that helps you out with your side flips um, those are the main things I see, so just keep practicing it. I like your attempt so far. Keep up the good work. All right, let's see if we can do one more. I don't know what our time is right now, so I may cut this one out <laughs> uh, if it's too long. Um, here we go, here we go. Okay, um, here we are. This is our third video working on the double flip. Let's see if we can just jump straight to it, give you some tips, see what it looks like. Nice little flower in the beginning. That's pretty. Nice music. Okay. I'm not going to play music, though, just in case it's copyright music. I don't know for sure. Cool. Nice slow motion. Double flip. Looking good. I think I forgot to say your name. This is uh, Roof Culture Parkour. Sweet. I like that name. That's that's a good name. So let, we'll, we'll just focus on this double flip. Um... I mean, you get it around. It looks good. <laughs> you get the full double flips around. It looks like you're just mainly struggling to get the timing of when to open up in time. So let's see if we can uh, go through this frame by frame. Do, 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 do. Um, I'd say you could get a little bit more set with your chest. Uh, it's overall pretty good. And your arms are still a little bit low here, kind of like on the pre the first video we were talking about, how he wasn't setting his arms tall enough. I feel like your arms, once again, are uh, are set too low here. Whereas by the time you're leaving the trampoline, I mean, I want to see your hands behind your head, and then start coming down, and then tuck, and then from that tuck you just you know pull it in as tight as you can and something I like to do on the once I'm at this stage from doing the first rotation I like to actually do like a second little tug with my knees pull my knees in a little bit tighter it almost like it feels like it generates a little bit of additional rotation going into that second flip um, that's what I like doing anyways and then from there um, if you're throwing that second one a little bit tighter a little bit harder I can tell that you could be opening up right now and you would probably land it. Um, I mean, there you're pretty much landing it. You just kind of fall backwards. But I think if you just... No, you fall forward. So you over-rotated it. So, I mean, you, you did it. You got it. But if you just apply those couple tips, I think you'll be flipping it a lot faster. And, uh, and just... A lot of it is just practicing getting the awareness of knowing when to open up to land it just right. Because you're moving so fast, it's so hard to spot it, that sometimes it's just a matter of practice getting the feel for it. So you just, you can feel gravity circling around your body and you know when you need to open up. <laughs> it's kind of how I've developed my way of doing it anyways. Think of it like Daredevil, you know, how he's blind so he has to rely on all his other senses to know where he is. That's how I feel when I'm doing double flips. Everything's moving so fast and it's so blurry that I'm just relying on the feeling around my body to know where the ground is, where, gra where gravity is pulling me and getting it around. But that's just practice doing it over and over again. So, anyways, you did an awesome job. I don't know if that was the only double flip you were wanting advice on it. I'm, it's looking like that's what it was. Um, I'm not going to watch the whole videos just so that we have time to get to through all of them, but this will probably be the last one we end on. So once again, thank you to those of you who submitted your links. I'm sorry to those who I wasn't able to get to. This is uh, also a new experience for me, a new 
way of doing videos so hopefully I'll get more efficient and better at them in the future and so once again awesome job everyone on your tricks you sent in keep it up let me know in the comments what tricks you'd like me to review of yours and be sure to include a link to your video and hopefully you'll get to see yourself in one of my videos here pretty soon doing a parkour or free running or flips or tricking whatever it is you want help on review so <laughs> thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time